Adventure kiteboarding, testing the new Blade Fat Lady version 2 on a cold winter day. Just taking a look at the canopy here. As you can see, there's not much flutter. The wind is pretty light. Um, the panels are all sewn in for color with some screen printing on the top, but that white, green, black, yellow, that's all fabric sewn in. Uh, two attachment points on the back, some screen printing on the leading edge, adds a little color to it. Standard bumpers, and then on the strut bumpers, they're molded plastic, uh, sort of soft plastic that's pretty standard in the industry now. The bar has a clam cleat for the front lines, depower throw its sight. Uh, there's a way to actually easily change the throw length on the bar just by feeding that through the back side of the cleat and then taking up the tension on the lines. Um, so that seems to work really easy, thread the through. You can't do it in flight, but you can do it on land in you know, probably 30 seconds. That's halfway done right there just to show you how that works. The cleat seems to be like aluminum, polished, pretty nice, beefy, good looking. All right, self-launching. Seemed to be really a piece of cake. Kite just launches really easy. Uh, a lot more power than I expected, so I had to run down a few steps there. So fully powered up. Uh, the back lines are on the knot closest to the kite, which is probably overpowered for most situations, from what I can tell from the light wind here. Some little jumps on land just to get a feel for it. Um, wasn't mega boosty, but I'm always not good at jumping on land anyway. Alright, so I take the kite deep power about halfway, see how it turns, still turns good, pretty quick. Um, for 17 it seems to be on par with other 17s, you know, not rocket fast, I'm not going to lie until it turns like a 12, but blades, all blades seem to turn pretty quick, so I was pretty happy with this. So, uh, turning speed, flying speed, seems to fly a little further forward in the window than the last version of the family. And um, so now I'm going to fully depower the kite and see how it turns. And uh, hard to tell exactly how much wind is out there. It was pretty light. Um, but seems to still turn pretty quick. Respond pretty well to that about 54 centimeter bar is about what it is. From what I can tell, I didn't measure it exactly. Didn't backstall at all. Totally, no matter where I pulled the bar all the way in, even with the fully powered up, it didn't backstall. And again, just trying to get a little bit of jumping in, even with the kite fully powered, depowered, seemed to work pretty nice. So it has some nice boost. Turns around the wingtip, and the front lines unspin immediately. Um, you do not stay tangled. It seems like that, that spinning front line system that reminds me of the slingshot works really well. It unspins immediately. As soon as I get the back lines unspun, the front lines, and look, they're already done. So we're going to throw the chicken release now. And the kite comes down and the bar continues to slide up from there. Rolls over on its back. Turtles can walk up the lines and land it. Adventure kiteboarding.